Yeah, I was going to walk away, but, uh, well, good evening both. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Marone. Congratulations, Mr. Aiello. Uh, it certainly seems like we have more of a democracy here. I hope you will respect the First Amendment. Um, as I read, it was unbelievable. I read to you from this Roberts Rules about fundamental fairness and said that the great lesson for democracies to learn is that the majority is to give the minority a full and free opportunity, which the majority did. But the minority did not give you back. When they failed to win a majority to their views, they didn't gracefully submit. I mean, Mr. Selico did, I'll hand it to him a little, he did, but not without taking a few shots on his way out. But Mr. Gagné's performance tonight, clawing, for that, not graceful, not cheerfully to assist. Fought it tooth and nail, and they said, well, what's the big deal? It must be a big deal because they fought you long and hard. So it must be a big deal. It must be a big deal. And, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sully, you need to change your, uh, <laughs> you need to change your name plan, plates. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, but Mr. Mr. Marone, it's very nice to see when Mr. Selico talks out of order, which he did three or four times, just blurted it out, making rulings from right field. You didn't stop him once. You didn't gavel him. You let him speak. He was out of order. That's a hypocrite. But the majority rules here, and I also thank Mrs. Coffey for taking her time on the Vice President, and it's, I hope it's no slight to Mr. Aiello, but I think, and she's not speaking to me, but she tried to say, well, let's make this a little fair. But I hope the thing that turned her was Mr. Gagné telling her to do the right thing. It was terrible. So it might have backfired on you. You are, you, I, I mean, you might be fooling a few people, but I think most of the people out there see you for what you are. And you say that, you know, well, we're using the 10th edition. That's what Mr. Selico said and Mr. Gagné. But read your rules. Robert's Rules of Order is amended or revised shall govern. Not the 10th edition forever. It's been since 2011 and you're using the 10th. So if you're big, miss, big rule guys, big rules, why don't you follow your rules? It's amended or revised. Get the 11th vision. And for you to sit up there and say, well, there's nothing changed, you don't know what you're talking about. And Mr. Selico to say to me, well, I don't agree with the two-thirds majority, why don't you listen to your Mr. Conley? It's obvious. It's not even a question. The majority rule overturns any decision, and you should know that. And, and I think you sh would have done yourself a big favor by admitting that. And that's basically all, but I, but the majority rules. And, I, and uh, that threat from Mr. Selico about interfering with the town manager, you should just ignore that. He doesn't hold the sway. I hope this, this council will do the, the right thing. We all know what we're talking about. There are rumors, and the other thing about this performance evaluation that that Mr. Marone and Mr. Carson took heat for. That's the most ridiculous thing I s ever heard of, that an employee decides what the performances review is going to do and that then the employer has to fill it out. He doesn't have to fill it out. He didn't, do, he didn't violate any fiduciary duty. They don't have to fill those things out. That whole thing was a fraud, an absolute fraud, that performance review. And I can't wait for Kennedy to come back on here. Because you're not going to be able to stop me from criticizing him, and there's a lot of things going on in this town that aren't right with Mr. Kennedy. And I'm going to, I'm going to bring him out, and I hope you're going to stop him from the legal actions with the police union. I mean, we're just going to lose one after another, five of those out there. So uh, I hope you won't take his threat, not interfere. If it was up to me, Kennedy would have been gone a long time ago. And for guys like Sullivan to say he's so great, this and that, he doesn't know anything that's going on. We all know what's going on, and it's not fair. So um, that's all I got to say. Congratulations, Mr. Marone. Congratulations, Mr. M uh, ALO. And I'm glad that finally we got the majority rules in this town.
Thank you.